everyone, Robert here. Jesse and I have been working on a video series and hopefully it should be coming up very soon, but where we were going over Wix Studio sites that have been submitted by people in the community, such as yourselves. And something he and I noticed was that many sites were only available in one language. And considering that Wix Studio offers a multilingual option to let you localize and translate your site into over 180 languages, we found it a little strange. So we thought maybe people weren't aware of the feature or they didn't know how to access it, how to utilize it. And that's kind of what this video series is about. So just kind of want to go in, show how to add it, show how the translation kind of works, how you can also manage multiple translations on the back end, and just some things with SEO. So just going to go ahead and jump right in. As usual, I'm here within Wix Studio. So if you do want to add it, you can actually add multilingual to any Wix Studio site. We can choose from add elements to choose multilingual from here. One, I've already added it to my site for the purpose of the end time of the video. But if you don't see it on here, you'll see to add language or like add multilingual. You can also choose it from here within tools and we can choose multilingual. So but once it's been added, you can see up here, there are the languages that are available. So in my case, because on the website, some of the destinations that were available. So I figured, let me make the site also available, not just in English, but in those respective languages in French and Indonesian and Italian and Japanese. I don't speak Indonesian, nor am I really familiar with the language. So I decided to hide it from visitors. That is something that you can do once you add the languages, you can decide which languages are visible to users and to SEO. I'll show that in a sec, but just want to show while I'm still within the editor, how we can kind of manage this. So once the languages have been available, you can actually just choose to change over to the language. So in my case, I'm going to switch over to French, just it's a top language right now. But we can see here the floating toolbar. We do have the option to auto translate the entire site. So it'll tell us roughly how many credits we need, how many we have available. And again, if you need to purchase more credits to automatically translate all of the content in the site. That's something you can do. You can also just go through word by word and do the auto translation. I'm just going to choose to auto translate. And this is something I did want to mention is again, we can see the notification of how many words I have left. But when you are translating, it does keep the like the formatting and the choices of what you're changing. So here I actually did the text to justify. If I do change the alignment, the font size, that change actually does apply to all languages. So you can see this notification here. Generally, it'll give you a pop up banner as well. So if I do go back to English, we'll see that that's changed. This can kind of then maybe just determine whether do you want to actually keep everything the same in terms of formatting or maybe do you want to change out the translation a little bit? So in my case, maybe I want to do a travel a like a booty travel agency. So that's one way that you can do it. Again, you can either manually choose the translations or you can just have the AI go through it. When we come here, actually, I'm going to go to the dashboard and this is accessible once the multilingual has been added. We can see here there's multilingual and we can add the additional site languages here. We can also determine what's visible, what's not visible on here as well. So again, if I did want to show Indonesian, I can. If I want to hide it, I can as well. And that'll show it in the language dropdown, as well as again, if I hide it, it'll hide it from search engines and from users. And if I need to add additional languages, it can. But let me go to the translation manager and just kind of show here. So again, you don't necessarily have to go through within the editor and manually select each element. The set content here will have all of everything that's kind of legible in terms of text and have it visible here. So let's say I want to choose in French, they're more about our benefits. I just clicked here. I can manually change it here. I can't auto translate here as well. You can also do it for your business content. So in this case, I'll actually leave in discard. It's okay. You can see for the site, I actually have a blog. So it'll actually take you to the appropriate widgets to be able to change out. So I can change out the blog, the forms. I can change out most of this information. And then I just want to go really quick into the SEO portion, as I mentioned, very useful when you do add multilingual, it'll add the X default tag as well as the hreflang tags to your languages. If you do have a custom domain as well, a subdomain will automatically be generated for the languages. So this custom domain would be like mydomain.com 
for IT for Italian. Again, that'll be customized. And I've already tested this out here, but you can do custom alt text per language. So here, let's say I write French. I'm just doing this to kind of highlight it, but I can come here, go to English and give it its own specific alt text in its language. So again, I'm just writing the language specifically and we can see I can come back to French and it'll still keep its French alt text. So again, very beneficial, especially if you want to do the SEO for the site or if it's something that you're offering for a potential client or if you want to do it for your own site, you can customize that as well as the page descriptions for how everything displays on the site. So again, I actually can just auto translate the page name and if I come into SEO basics, again, I can customize the title tag. I can have the better description be unique per language. And this is awesome because especially a lot of search engines will localize it based on the clients or whoever is searching their default languages. So, and again, I can come back to English and all of this information will stay the same. So apologies if maybe it's not super in depth as the other ones, there is a lot to cover on here. I can always go more in depth as always, if you guys have any further questions, if you wanna see a little bit more about this, but definitely I recommend checking it out. If you are creating already on Wix Studio, definitely recommend being able to add at least maybe a few other languages onto the site. Again, not too difficult to be able to add, to go ahead and customize. The actual translation part is the part that might take a little bit of work, but especially if you are okay using the auto translate, it can do a lot of the heavy lifting very beneficial but yeah, thanks everyone appreciate it and bye for now